think the big thing here versus traditional architectures is that traditional architectures have infrastructure. And with serverless, there is zero infrastructure. Yeah, like it, it's implicit infrastructure in most cases. Um, and of course there are things still like potentially VPCs and so forth that you can optionally opt into, but like all together, like the way that we build and deploy applications at IO Pipe is like, let's say it's a Node.js, it's a serverless um, function written in Node.js. There's a package.json and a serverless at YAML because we use a serverless framework. And, you know, when we uh, commit to Git, when we merge something, um, the CI CD runs, you know, the packaging process executes and it deploys into Lambda. And we're not dealing with Terraform and Puppet and Chef and all of these things, which totally makes sense when you're deploying, you know, complicated infrastructure that needs to be, co you know, correlated and like, you know, like there, there's an orchestration problem, right? And I don't have the orchestration problem with serverless. It's just, you know, Application. deploy it. <laughs> Actually, it's very interesting to hear it because I, we're, our company does the exactly same thing. Like, we just uh, each each project has a package JSON and YAML, and then you just push it, and automatically deploy it. Um, actually, one 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 thing, funny thing, one funny thing was any time I brought some other people from other bigger company or other companies and show them that they actually like very like I would say very like surprised. I guess the fact that if you just you could just deploy application that easily, like <laughs> they're like they don't understand the concept that deployment could happen in like two minutes, like in one minute or even. Yeah. Um, I mean, there are still a company that doesn't deploy. If it's Friday, they don't they don't deploy it because they cannot roll back fast enough. 